A standalone power supply consists of solar panels, a regulator, a set of batteries, an inverter, um, and fuses, etc., a generator to back it up, um, and a battery charger. So what's happened now, right, is everything, right, is now running off the generator. Yes. The house, this is kicked up, right, so it will totally look after these batteries on their own. And this will put out 160 amps all day, every day, 24 hours, hours a day. With the standalone system you can have solar panels either on a roof or a tracker, but because a tracking system will give you far better performance, it's preferable to have a tracker. So do, what limits the output of a solar panel? There are several things that limit the output. Um, their positioning, their orientation, the angle at which they're sitting into the sun, uh, the amount of pollution in the air, um, and the main thing is the amount of sunlight they receive. Solar panels are solar panels. They do not work in the shade. No, I, I knew that, but I was wondering if they were shaded and splattered shade, you'd be That's getting 50%. Cool. Fil filtered sunlight? No. Less you'll, than 50%. You'll be cut down to probably 5%. Oh, jeez, I'd okay, better get the trees down. And don't forget... Better trim the trees. Also, don't forget, if you've got one panel there that's partly shaded, those two panels you probably don't know, but it's a, they're 24-volt panels. They're hooked in series, right, to give 48 volts. Two together give 48 volts. 24 plus 24... 48. You shave one panel, half a quarter of one panel, you've lo actually lost two panels. Oh, okay. You see? Yes. So the sunlight is picked up from the solar panels. It is then taken down the lines, the electrical lines, into a regulator, which is a little gadget that stops uh, the batteries boiling if they get full, similar to the clicker on a petrol tank. Uh, when you pull into the petrol station to fill it up, when your petrol tank is full it goes click and turns it off a regulator does exactly the same job only with electricity see first of all battery voltage 52 charge is 7 load is 4.3 in is 131 out is 58 the key to everything is that little box that PL60 now you could call it a voltage regulator but what it really is is a mini computer data Voltage max today, 54.4. It's really the heart. The solar panels and the batteries are the working thing, but that regulator is the key to you knowing how to drive it. It's the steering wheel. So the power comes from the panels through the regulator, then down into the batteries. Now your batteries are just like the petrol tank of a car. They store the power, they store the electrical power um, within a chemical aspect as opposed to a fluid aspect. Let's see, first of all, battery voltage 52. Battery voltage. Mini computer. So, your first reading when you come up here and the sun's out and you push your battery voltage, you're going to get it under charge. State of charge 91%. So, that car, it's your petrol tank. We've been building up to the power, That's see, right. for a while we were only using lights, mm. then we started on this, mm. then Sue started playing. Yeah. The dishwasher came, mm. the microwave. Yep. The, um, all, all, all the tools. State of charge, 82%. So the day before that, we're on day one, that's yesterday. Day before that was 85%. The day before that, 87%. The day before that, 79%. The day before that is 93%. Push anyway, yeah. so on a day, what I'm getting to here is the first day Sue had a washing machine, mm. which is a heavy style one, yep. you know. She did three loads of washing. Yep. She used the dishwasher. Yes. She had the telly on for three hours, a big telly. Yes. Um, and she was and other it. stuff, lights and galore. Yes. And they were the readings I read you out. Yep. Um, a hundred and something in, um, 46 or something out. Like See, it was what, what will happen, as I explained to you, is you've got a load, what we call a load, or something that's being powered up by electricity, and it'll be a washing machine and a microwave and lights, okay? You've got a supply, which is something that's making the power, all right? And you've got a petrol tank called a battery bank, and they're your three main things. This thing is a, is a computer in the middle, right, that makes it decide what to do. When the solar panels put the power into the batteries, if the, when the batteries are full, what it's got to do is it's got to disconnect, otherwise the batteries just boil and boil and boil, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. So. 
what will happen is, if your petrol tank's full, right, the solar panels will take the power and put them straight into the load. Yes, that's what you explained the other day. 140, 80. That must have been that sunny day. That was a sunny day. Out 104. Uh, Voltage max 60. So that's gone right up to the top. And th that particular day, Sue yeah. did that, was a full yeah. blown sunny hot sunny day. day. Yeah, exactly. And that were the similar readings. And I thought, you think no the thing's, way. Gone, thing's gone into mm. float, the batteries are full, the petrol tank's full, but I've still put 100 amps in. Well, what's happened is the petrol tank's filled up, cut out, but the solar panels have, have feeding, it directly. feeding directly into it. And this is why, with smaller systems, and you know, and it's even good practice to whenever you're going to put a heavy load on the system and you're really going to thump it, do it when the sun's out, because then it's not taking it out of the batteries. Yeah. Batteries are designed to cycle so many times, right? So if you can get the power to come from your solar panels straight into the, into the article, it's not taking it out of the batteries. The batteries last longer. Yeah. So do your washing if you don't have to, but if you do do your washing and all heavy loads during the day when the sun's on, the batteries will last twice as long because you're not actually using them. They're sitting there doing nothing. Yeah. When you want to take the power out of the system, the power comes out of the batteries and goes into a um, unit called an inverter, which takes what's called DC power, like batteries in um, every appliance we have, and turns it into AC power, which is the power we use from the power point of a house. And then, so the power comes out of the batteries, goes into the inverter, the inverter turns it from DC to AC, and then you plug your toaster in and it works. So everything works? Everything works. Uh, I have so much power, Luke. I can oh, sell it to the neighbours.